What about the limits of compute, meaning uh, the expensive uh, nature of building bigger and bigger data centers? So right now, I think, uh, you know, most of the frontier model companies, I would guess, are, are operating, you know, roughly, you know, $1 billion scale plus or minus a factor of three, right? Those are the models that exist now or are being trained now. Uh, I think next year, we're going to go to a few billion. And then uh, 2026, we may go to, uh, uh, you know, above 10, 10, 10 billion. And probably by 2027, their ambitions to build hundred hundred billion dollar uh, hundred billion dollar clusters, and I think all of that actually will happen. There's a lot of determination to build the compute to do it within this country, uh, and I would guess that it actually does happen. Now, if we get to a hundred billion, that's still not enough compute. That's still not enough scale. Then either we need even more scale, or we need to develop some way of doing it more efficiently, of shifting the curve. Um, I think be between all of these, one of the reasons I'm bullish about powerful AI happening so fast is just that if you extrapolate the next few points on the curve, we're very quickly getting towards human level ability, right? Some of the new models that that we developed, some some reasoning models that have come from other companies, they're starting to get to what I would call the PhD or professional level, right? If you look at their their coding ability, um, the latest model we released, Sonnet 3.5, the new or updated version, it gets something like 50% on Sweebench. And Sweebench is an example of a bunch of professional real-world software engineering tasks. At the beginning of the year, I think the state of the art was 3 or 4%. So in 10 months, we've gone from 3% to 50% on this task. And I think in another year, we'll probably be at 90%. I mean, I don't know, but might, might, even, be, might even be less than that. Uh, we've seen similar things in graduate level math, physics, and biology from models like OpenAI's O1. Uh, so uh, if we if we just continue to extrapolate this, right, in terms of skill skill that we have, I think if we extrapolate the straight curve, within a few years we will get to these models being, you know, above the the highest professional level in terms of humans. Now, will that curve continue? You've pointed to, and I've pointed to a lot of reasons why, you know, possible reasons why that might not happen. But if the if the extrapolation curve continues, that is the trajectory we're on.